is Jeff Gray and welcome to the Kimberley. Um, today I'm making this video because I'm going to be exploring with you people the Nikon D850. It's time lapse settings in camera, manual settings and um, hopefully it'll answer many questions that I've been asked. Okay, some time lapse settings that I like to use. During the day um, I use a, a filter called an ND500 so I like to set my ISO at 100. For nighttime settings, obviously uh, we remove um, the ND filter and we increase our ISO settings up to as high as two and a half thousand, maybe even three thousand two hundred. But what we're doing is we're going back to one hundred. Um, I also like to expose the film in case of say in, in, in the case of a storm, if there is any lightning then I have a great chance of um, um, picking up the lightning. So I'm going to expose each shot at 1.6 seconds. Now my f-stop because of the filter will be between 8 and 13 depending on the available light on the day. The next step is head on into the menu. We need to go to time-lapse and we need to have a look at the interval in the interval you can set pretty much wherever you like this is um, this this in the far right hand side is in seconds so one second two seconds three seconds and in the case I'm going to expose for 1.6 seconds then I want two seconds I do not need any other timing from either hour or minutes so I'm going to OK that shooting time this is critical make sure you leave yourself enough time to complete the job you do not want your camera stopping halfway through the job it's very annoying and sometimes it can really well, it can really wreck your day so I leave it at one hour exposure smoothing I like I leave it on silent photography depending on whether I'm with, whether I'm in, with friends or not but I like to listen to them to the workings of my camera so I know where I am. Image area, simply open that up and it will show you what you're going to film. In this case we're not using this as, a, as the target so we'll head back. Frame size, this is interesting because I want to shoot it in 4K but you have a range of options a massive range of options to choose from from 1080 to 12, 1280, 70, uh, 720 and in this case I'm picking um, 4K at 25 frames per second. Our interval priority is off and the reason that is I am using manual settings. Once all that's done you can hit start and this is what it sounds like. And to stop it prematurely before the hour is up, just depress your main button. Okay, let's go find a target. 